Hi Louise, you were the uh, race championship winner for last year's uh, Mighty Minis Championship uh, and you're racing again this year, how's it going? Uh, not too well, but not too bad. I'm running second, well that was before yesterday. Um, got some good positions, but I've had one win at Coombe. Um, but currently I reckon I've slipped back to about third or fourth now after yesterday's race, but we've just had an engine change, so hopefully, fingers crossed, everything's looking good for today. And you're racing with the Mighty Minis uh, today and for the rest of the season. What's it like racing with them compared to the Super Mighty Minis when you're all out there on the track together? Well, I was a bit overwhelmed at first just because there's so many ex-champions in the Super Mighty Minis. Um, I didn't really want to make too many. Um, you know, dodgy moves and just risk it. I just wanted to sit back, experience it and just get to know the car really. So I felt like I did that ready for next year and hopefully we'll see how it goes then. And can you explain a bit about the Mighty Minis uh, Championship? It's quite an iconic British brand, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. The racing is so close. Uh, you never know who's going to come around first on each lap. It's just different. That's why I love it so much. It's just so close and exciting. Excellent. And um, you've got a fabulous car there behind us in, yeah. in bright pink. Can you tell us the story behind that? Uh, well, my granddad back in the 60s and 70s used to run with a pink car. He used to race in the Mini 7s and um, it was just basically a tribute to him really and the fact that I'm a girl and everyone knows that pink, there's a few of us in the team that's got pink cars but I think it's kind of stuck now and we, we really like it and everyone knows that it's us and we're here to make our move. Great colour, you can't miss it out there yeah. on the track, can you? And what is it like being one of the few girls racing in the championship? Do you know, do you get any banter from that? Uh, no, I think they kind of um, treat me as a bloke really <laughs> now. I've been in it four years, so they just treat me as everyone else. 